I'm honored to have you with me for day 41. God has chosen you to make a difference. Esther 4 verse 14, Mordecai said to Esther, Queen Esther, If you remain silent at this time, relief and deliverance for the Jews will arise from another place. But you and your father's family will perish. And no, and who knows but that you have come to royal position for such a time as this. So wherever we are, like Queen Esther, we are called to serve God. You might be a pastor. You might be a lawyer. You might be an accountant or um, a, a CEO or a simple farmer in the village. Wherever we are, we are chosen to, to make a difference. We are called to serve God with sincerity and faithfulness. We are called to make a difference, to return what is rightfully God's, to contribute and to put our hands together to support God's work here on earth. The book Councils of Stewards, page 44 by Ellen G. White reads, Our people are not to wait for more appeals, but are to lay right hold of the work, making those things which appear impossibilities, possibilities. Let each one ask himself, Has not the Lord entrusted me with the means for the advancement of his cause? We ask you as the Lord's steward, to put this means into circulation, to provide facilities by which many will have the opportunity of learning what is truth. Someone by the name Waldo Venning said, there are three levels of giving. You have to, which is the law, you ought to, which is the obligation, and you want to, which is the grace. So we are called to give, to support, and to commit ourselves in the service of God, regardless of our profession, regardless of our uh, status or whatsoever, everything that we do should be and must be for the glory of God. And God has chosen us to make a difference. Thank you. That's for our day 41. And God bless.